listen to the children. This is what we think about smoking. Mummy, stop smoking. Bad for you. Shame on you. I think young children would stop because they see the adults doing it, but they, they'll they start by just picking up a pencil or something like that and putting it in the mouth. Then one day they'll get hold of the real thing and start smoking, they'll just get hooked. Yes, mommy, it stinks, fully. There's a lot of nasty things that can still happen due to secondhand smoking, like um, people who um, choose not to smoke, or still if someone in their family's smoking and like they're in the same room, it's just as if they are smoking and the same consequences happen to them. Mm. Don't talking in that American accent and stop saying shame on you. What's it like being a young person in the same room as people who are smoking? Um, to me, it gives us like a sore throat and makes us want to cough a lot because of the smell that the people who are smoking like breathe out, like all the smoke, it's not a nice smell and it makes you cough a lot. I don't like sitting in a room with like person who like smokes, smokes with my nana because um, I normally sit next to her on the sofa so I can breathe it in. But then I go upstairs and I go out the room. I feel toxinated because of the smell, and it makes me feel like I've been poisoned. <laughs> we've grew up in a house that has people smoking. So like when people come over they've been smoking. Like my mum and dad smoke since I got born so I don't really care really. So like and, and like when you were young growing up and that and your people were smoking in your house and your and your um rooms in your house, how did that make you feel? I did not uh, clothes stink and everything. Well obviously I didn't smoke them but I didn't like the smell of it or nothing. But then when I started smoking myself, I couldn't really smell it on myself until I went in for like me and Nana's like house because it's got a really clean house in it. And then I could smell the smoke on us. Right, we're going to watch this scene. It's set in a house um, and see what ideas they've come up with. I started smoking because my friends were smoking and I didn't want to feel left out. And like, at first that they were like, just try it. So I tried it. And then it got like a little bit of a habit. And then obviously I started to smoke. I think young people smoke because peer pressure. But not just that, I think it's just, if they're brought up around it, it's normal to them. It's not ordinary. It's like people who like parents drink alcohol and stuff, they're kind of it's like a lead by example and I think kids whose parents smoke they obviously are going to pick it up and it's it's been proven that people who smoke when they're pregnant kids smoke I mean my mum smoked when she was pregnant with all three of her kids not very many mind but all her kids smoke so I think it's to do with pregnancy and then being brought up around it I'm Samuel Christopher Malota and I'm 10 years old. I think second hand smoke is when other people breathe in other people's smoke. I think when you're in a room with people who are smoking like really ill and sick because like you're breathing in it and then you start to cough and everything like that. I think when you're in a room with someone smoking it's fil filthy, it's vile and that's horrible. I would throw up. Go somewhere, <laughs> go somewhere. When you smoke, it makes me choke. <laughs> go somewhere. When you smoke, we breathe in your secondhand smoke, and it's not fair. Take eight places away from anyone or anywhere when you smoke. That's eight, not one, not two, not three, not four. Eight. I would ban it from like public areas. I would say that they would build like little places where they could smoke and only smoke. Whoa! Go somewhere else!
Wheels! Oh! <laughs> Young people start to smoke because they think because the other people who they say are smoking, and then they think it's that they want to start smoking. Do you not know what smoking can do to you? Yellow fingers, bad breath, and yellow teeth. Do you really want that? No. no. Then why don't they just stop smoking right this minute? We call where do you get smoking? Addicted to the nicotine. Tell me about the people you know who smoke. Well, my family. My dad um, and my granddad. My granddad used to, but he stopped. He stopped? Because he died. Look, just stop it right now. I need to talk to you. Sit down. Do you, not, do you not know all of them people out there who have been died of cancer? Yes, I do. So why don't you just stop or that'll be, one, that'll be you? Well, no. What's it like being a young person in the same room as people who are smoking? Um, like, Dizzy. Re really horrible and disgusting, really and it feels eat. like you can, it, feel, it feels like you can faint sometimes, like I have once. Um, I was in the house and my lungs started to feel a bit tight because, of, like, I was sitting there and my dad was smoking in the house, in the same room, and I started to feel a bit tight and. I thought I was going to be sick. Look, I've seen pictures in when we're learning about people dead and stuff like that, from cancer and stuff like that. I don't want that to end up like you because you're my mother and father and I love you very much, but you've got to stop doing this. I've asked my nana to stop, try to stop smoking, but in, in, because it's horrible and I kept asking her, asking her why does she smoke in the first place. I've asked my dad not to smoke. What did you learn at school about smoking? Well, we learned loads of things more than you. My nana had diabetes and then she was smoking and that, and she was getting worse and then she had a heart attack and then she died. I have in charge of you. If I want you to go to your bedroom, I want you to go to your bedroom, so go. But now I've stopped asking them because they won't, um, won't stop. Don't want to listen. listen.